everyone, welcome back to my channel, Sugar Mama TV. I am so pleased and so proud to announce that the Sugar Mama budget is finally ready for you. I have been thinking about this app, dreaming about this app, planning this app and working on this app for so many years now. And I have worked with an amazing team of people who have all contributed to the design, the building, the testing, the trying, the tweaking of this app and it is ready for you and it's going to help you take control of your finances and feel really good about your financial future and realize what you can achieve. Now when we manage our money properly and wisely, we experience a whole range of benefits. We feel really good about ourselves because we feel in control. We know exactly what we earn and we know what our true cost of living is. And when we want to buy something nice for ourselves or for other people, we can do it so guilt free because we have money set aside for that expense. We are not reaching for a credit card to fix a situation. We also realize what we are capable of achieving financially. We can start set meaningful financial goals for ourselves, such as paying off student loans or finally getting out of credit card debt and seeing that progress. Also exciting things like saving up for holidays, saving up for homes even. It's amazing when you know exactly where your money goes because you can start proactively deciding and make powerful decisions for yourself that change your financial future. Now the secret to budgeting successfully lies in two key ingredients. One being create consistency. Try and create your living expenses as consistent as possible, whether they be weekly, fortnightly or monthly. You want to try and create the same pattern over and over again. And that's because it's going to create a habit for you. And when we set up healthy habits, they start to happen organically. We don't even need to think about doing them. We just do them automatically, like cleaning our teeth. We don't think about cleaning our teeth twice a day. We simply do it. And when we create healthy habits, we will experience the benefits that come from that. Now, the second key to budgeting your money successfully is to match your living expenses with your diary. For those larger expenses that may be quarterly, biannual or annual, that cannot be paid for on a weekly, fortnightly or monthly basis, we need to plan and prepare for them financially so that we don't get caught up by surprise and have to lean for a credit card to help fix that situation. We need to plan and prepare for those. Set money aside on a regular basis so that when that expense comes in, we have the money set aside ready to go and it's cash. We don't create any toxic financial liabilities in our financial situation anymore. Now this app called The Sugar Budget is going to make your job so much easier because it does all of those things for you. Now the moment you have finished entering in all your living expenses into The Sugar Budget app, I want you to make sure that your bank accounts are set up correctly because it's going to match the instructions in the sugar budget. I want you to have three key accounts. One being your monthly account. This is the account that you pay all your weekly, fortnightly and monthly living expenses. The bulk of your income will go into this account and this is where you have a linked ATM card, a debit card. So when you pay for things, you're always paying for them in cash. You're not using any credit here. The second account is your life account. This is where I want you to put all the money for your expenses that you pay beyond monthly. So the quarterly, biannual and annual expenses. I then want you to have a third account and this is called your choice account. And this is because you get to choose where this money goes. When money gets deposited into your choice account, you can decide how you want to use it. So you can put it towards a particular goal or you can just use it as money for a rainy day or even emergency money. It's completely your choice. Now let's get started and head to the app store and download the app. Now I have invested a lot of my hard earned money into this app and it's taken over nine months to build. So the cost of this app is a little more than the cost of one coffee. But I promise you, if you use this app on a regular basis and use it properly, you are going to save many more cups of coffee each month. So it is well worth the investment. So once you've downloaded the app, you will see an S logo, which is the sugar budget. I recommend that you have this logo on the first home page. That will mean that it constantly reminds you to check your budget, but also to update it because we are always finding that new expenses sneak into our lives. But this time you actually get to decide what sneaks in, what stays and what goes because you're taking control of your financial future now. Okay, really excited. We'll start by watching the tutorial. Now this tutorial takes pretty much one or two minutes to watch. It gives you a quick rundown of how this app works. So if you ever get stuck, you can always refer back to the tutorial. All right, we're now ready to start. 
we're going to enter in our name and you'll see a welcome message. Now the sugar budget can take up to 30 minutes to set up initially. The more information that you can put into this, the more helpful it's going to be for you. So I recommend you make yourself a cup of tea or get yourself a glass of water, sit down, get comfortable on the sofa and start entering in all your living expenses. This is going to be really insightful, but really empowering. So first of all, I'm going to put in my salary after tax. I'm also going to put in here any additional income that I receive, whether it be an allowance, whether it be some sort of government assistance, any sort of passive income such as net rental income or even my dividends. In fact, I'm going to put my dividends in here and I'm going to say that I receive $10,000 a year in dividends and that they are paid twice a year. So $5,000 every six months. Now, because it's a biannual expense or biannual income, I should say, it is really important that we let the sugar budget know when we receive them because remember the key to budgeting successfully is knowing exactly when you have money coming in and when you have upcoming expenses. I'm now going to put in my mortgage repayment and all my other household expenses. I'm also going to put my margin loan which is a monthly expense and I'm going to continue on putting in all of the household expenses. Alright, I've now entered in all of my household expenses, I'm going to keep going. Now, whilst we have pretty much thought of every single living expense possible, there is an option to be able to add in custom expenses. So at any stage throughout the app, you can always add in some sort of unique expense or unique code that you want to put in your sugar budget. Now, at this stage, the lifestyle expenses, you're probably going to wish that instead of making yourself a cup of tea or a glass of water, that you poured yourself a glass of wine. We all downplay our true cost of living, particularly when it comes to our lifestyle expenses. But remember, you need to be as honest as possible with this app because the more honest you are, the more helpful it's going to be. So let's keep going. And also in the lifestyle expenses, I'm gonna add in my annual holiday. All right, so I've been really honest with myself and I can see the true cost of my lifestyle expenses. Let's click next. I'm now going to add in any upcoming events where I know I'm going to need to spend money, such as going to a friend's wedding, I need to take a present, or Valentine's Day, or even preparing for Christmas time. Remember, the key to budgeting successfully is to know what you've got coming in as an upcoming expense and preparing it, putting money aside so that when it happens, you've got that cash ready to go and you feel really proud and in control of your finances. Now the final part is the savings goals. This is the most exciting part because you can start thinking about what you want to achieve. Think about your financial goals. Do you want to try and get out of debt? Do you want to pay off your student loans? Do you want to go on a holiday? Do you want to start earning passive income? This is where you can start getting creative and start planning your future and get really excited. Now for me, I'm going to set myself a goal of saving $5,000 to buy more shares. And of course, with any goal, you always give yourself a deadline. You want to make yourself accountable so that you put the right steps in action today so that you can achieve that goal on time. All right, we're finished and let's go to the dashboard. So we now go to the forecast and we can see exactly what my sugar budget is going to tell me as to how to manage my cash flow. So we can see for the month of November, I'm going to receive a net income of $7,500 for the month. It is telling me of that I need to put $6,870 into my everyday account. The remaining amount of money must go into my life account. Remember the life account is the money that you stockpile. You put money aside into that on a regular basis, which is going to help cover those quarterly, biannually and annual expenses. Now the third account being the choice account, I can see that this month I can't actually afford to put any money into that choice account, but that's okay because my budget app, the sugar budget, sees that this month is an expensive month. I don't have spare money to allocate and I'm going to have to go back into my budget to see exactly where my expenses are. But let's have a look in more detail as to why this month is so expensive. I can see that I've got all these expenses coming in here for that month that are listed, so everything looks okay. Ah, but I can see that my water bill, which is a quarterly bill, my gas bill and my electricity bill all come in for the month of December. So I know that I need to plan and prepare to make sure I've got that money ready. So that's okay. However, let's keep clicking and see what else is going on. Alright, so for the month of April, I can see that this is a really cheap month and I can potentially put $4,200 into my choice account. But by following these instructions each month when I get paid, 
I know exactly where to allocate my money. And remember, this is cash, so we are not using any form of credit. Okay, so if at any stage, as you're entering your expenses, you start to see a negative line come up on your sugar budget, where it's written in red and you see the negative sign, that means it's a red flag. You are actually spending more than you earn. So you need to have a good, long, hard conversation with yourself as to your true cost of living. Because this means you are going backwards financially and may mean that you're actually going deeper into debt. Now, if this happens, you need to go back through your expenses and find ways to save money. Now, that may mean cutting expenses down or cutting them out completely. Now, I have no businesses to tell you how to spend your money. Only you can do that because you understand what you love, value, use and appreciate. So what I suggest you do is go back, check everything, make sure there are no errors and you haven't accidentally added an extra zero or put a frequency in too high and check your expenses and look at things that you really value. You may discover in doing this that you've got expenses in there that can simply go or be cut down, but you decide what that is. Just make sure you get yourself to a position where it is either neutral or you have a surplus again, because remember, this app is about improving your finances. So going back to the forecast, I can see exactly how to distribute my pay. I know exactly to the dollar what goes into my monthly account, what goes into my life account, and what goes into my choice account. And I can feel really good about this new habit. Now, I also recommend that you review this app on a regular basis. Make sure that as new expenses come in, you update your app because there may be a new expense that comes in that you can't afford, which means you need to then get rid of another expense. But again, you always decide what stays and what goes. Just make sure you're spending less than you earn. You can also see lots of my Sugar Mama YouTube videos built into this app. Tips on how to save money, how to build wealth, how to get out of debt, how to save money on food. There's a whole library of different money videos in here for you. And of course, you can use your calendar to remind you about those expenses coming up, such as that wedding, or that Christmas present, that Valentine's present, or even a present for yourself. Now, if I use this app regularly, I can see that I'm going to be able to afford to go on my $10,000 holiday in July, because I've put the money aside into my account. And I can see that I'm going to enjoy that guilt-free and incur absolutely no debt. Now, I highly recommend everybody use this app. It's going to make life so much easier for you and so much less stressful. Now, when you download this app, I would really appreciate if you can give me a review. I'm going to be constantly working on this app because I want to make sure that it's continuously improving and getting better and more helpful for you. So any feedback or rating that you can give me would be fantastic. Because remember, myself and a team of people have spent a lot of time and a lot of money building this app for you. So we want to make sure it's working for you and your needs. So let us know what you think. So guys, enjoy using this app. I know that you're going to love it and you're going to find it so helpful. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. Check out all the other playlists and you can follow me on Instagram at sugarmama.tv. Ciao for now.